Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a three ingredient strawberry ice box cake. Ice box cakes are really popular and uh, they're no bake, which is awesome, and super easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's begin. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts, but it's really easy to remember this and you don't have to be specific with the amounts. Um, you just kind of, what we're gonna be doing is just making layers and it's just really cool. It's very versatile as well. Instead of using graham crackers, you can use like different cookies. You could use chocolate graham crackers, the cinnamon kind. Instead of using strawberries, you can use blueberries, blackberries, um, pretty much other kinds of fruit. And then instead of the whipped topping, you can use just homemade whipped cream that you make yourself. A lot of different options that you can do, all right? Super awesome. And so I like using the whipped topping just because it's super easy, already prepared for me. So we're gonna take some of this and we're gonna put it on a on our dish here. And this is a glass dish. You can use other dishes too if you want. So let's just do a thin layer of the cream, whipped cream or whipped topping. And now we do the graham crackers. So we'll put that down. Okay, so like that. And now we want to put on another layer of cream. Now we're gonna take, I'm gonna use sliced strawberries. And again, you can use whatever fruit that you want. I just love strawberries. I love strawberries and cream. Make sure you're using clean hands, of course. And you don't have to sweeten the strawberries. You can if you want, but you don't have to, especially because the whipped topping or the whipped cream that you use will be sweetened. Okay, and now let's do another layer of graham cracker. And if the graham crackers break, don't worry about it. And now let's do another layer, you guessed it, of cream. Sometimes you gotta kinda hold that down as you spread out that cream. Keep those graham crackers in place. If you're using whipped topping, make sure to take it out of the freezer 20 to 30 minutes before you wanna start using it. That way it spreads on a lot easier. And now we do another layer of fruit. Another thing you could use in conjunction with the cream, whipped cream or whipped topping is like pudding. You can get instant pudding, a lot of different flavors of that. So there's a lot of varieties of ice bot cake that you can make. And then let's do another layer of this graham cracker. And so you're gonna wind up, depending on the dish that you use, you'll wind up using about two of these full packages of graham cracker or about 18 of the full sheets, okay? So that is great. And now we do the last layer, top layer of whipped topping. And I always just buy a couple of these containers of whipped topping, but you can get away with using just one full one. And so if you love strawberries and cream, whipped cream, whipped topping, and you love graham crackers, you are gonna love this icebox cake. And then to top it off, I'm gonna do another layer of strawberries. And this was right around I would say a pound and a half of sliced strawberries, maybe two pounds of sliced strawberries. And then as you can see, I have some strawberries left. This is probably about a half of one of those packages. And I can just always eat that as is or use it in another dish, whatever. Well, there you go. That is how you make the icebox cake. And now we put this in the refrigerator for at least four hours or overnight. Or if you're in a hurry, you can put it in the freezer for about two hours onto that step. And once the ice box cake has had time to chill, we can serve it up.
come in here and just, just cut it into squares, whatever size that you want. I usually do it into about thirds. And then we can go in here and grab a, a piece. And there it is. Yes. And you can see, hopefully you can see in there, you can see the layers. Awesome, super easy dessert. Now I'm gonna just come in here and take a bite. Yeah. Mm. So awesome and super easy to make. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this some more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm.